Sick game. A lot of peppering. Yeah. <laughs> what a quick cue. Whoops, it's my roommate. <laughs> you two had dinner together with 14 other people. Sorry for Warcraft 3 question while you're playing Hearts. No worries. Hard to catch me. <laughs> with all the balance talk, I was just wondering how much you think perceptions of balance are affected by the performance of a few top players. You wouldn't expect equal skilled top players in each race by chance alone. And I wonder if having three top tier orcs in Asia for so long changes how people see the balance of orcs compared to human, where the top two players are basically retired. Are you talking about InVTH? Are you calling them retired because they're mostly focusing on streaming? It's funny, right? Like InVTH, some of the biggest streamers in China. Why? Because they were some of the more successful Warcraft 3 players. Why am I retired uh, and streaming? Because I was one of the more successful Warcraft 3 players professionally as a competitor. And I was able to thankfully turn that into a starting audience. So you could argue that the races, the players of a race that are streaming have the fewest top players, but because that race was the best based on that info. <laughs> Who knows what personal decisions people make and how they are influenced by balance and old balance and new balance. Definitely way too murky of a web to make definitive uh, statements. The only source you can really trust on balance at the end of the day is my opinion. Yeah, makes sense, I and Jay, but maybe they are because they don't believe in the strength of human, right? So we're on Dragonshire, Hogger's banned, Rexard's banned, and the draft is in full swing at hyperspeed. We're gonna unveil everything because no one pre-picked yet. Looks like we need a main tank. Prefer main tank or a range AA. Greetings, friends. It can of course be melee assassin. Okay. Then I'll try to hover early to give him data. Against Sul'jin, I like to be May actually. Burns within me. I like to be the tank so that for. we don't have feeders of stacks. I just had an ARAM game with 876 stacks for Sul'jin out of 150. Sick. <laughs> Shafi, I saw a screenshot in my Discord of a ranked game. A ranked game with over 900 stacks. Let me see if I can find it. Okay. Greetings, friend. Guess the map, you'll never guess. Hanamura. <laughs> 164. <laughs> Not Volskaya. It's Hanamura. 164 stacks. Good job, enemy team. Yeah, oh, that was your screenshot, my Linator. Yeah. Hey, Saloon, thanks for the sub. Saloon, how often did we play together? <laughs> it's Hanamura royalty. Only 820, what a noob. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> okay. You had a uh, really good play. It was nice. Would love to have your Chromie again. May I ask you, would you describe this game as chill to play or intense? Uh, it's actually both. Don't you think as chill and intense? Mm, yeah, it's both. <laughs> the atmosphere, the graphics, the audio landscape, the light-hearted witty banter between heroes creates a chill atmosphere. Why did I... 
Oh my. Speaking of chill atmosphere. <laughs> Why did I press D? <laughs> um, meanwhile, uh, there's always action, so it's not chill. You're literally the godfather to Saloon's child. Any convection? No. Mana addict. So that's al already a lot of action from unit one. Yeah. Here goes nothing. No! I'm gonna oh. die. No. Let me go. You will not die. Thank you. Much better. They will die? Nice! No. <laughs> Kill him! You think you're so worthy to be Oh, I'm so close! Run! Uh. Ah! <laughs> That's so not worth it! Don't underestimate me! <laughs> Why did you follow? I don't know. <laughs> I will not turn this into Cassandra blame, but I am Everyone curious. I guess you were giving me heals. Yeah. Capture the shrines, inherit the Dragon Knight's power, and lay waste to this forsaken kingdom. There you are. Can you help your relative? Oh uh, yes. I guess I should leave. I thought we were oh. gonna gank him. Okay. Uh, I'll leave. Okay. Yeah, we need soak mates. I'm going. Oh, what's over there? Defend bot. Yep. It's pretty Did ridiculous. So? Uh, how I let that happen too. Hello. Careful, careful. Mm -hmm. Sildjian is chunking. I know. Close. We should take this. How about some mercenaries? No, I want to push a little bit. One power. Please, don't move. Okay. Okay. Did, did you know death by tower reduces your points by 25? Oh no, my DKP. Go to Yarrow, actually. Okay. May has a Chinese voice line, that's cool. She has about five. That was interesting. While Zul's axe was mid-air, you blinded him and it counted as a miss. Yeah, that's, that's super interesting. Future. Makes you wonder how the opposite is. Much better. He's gone. And we let him go. Oi, oh. oi, oi. I'm going top again. Yeah, yeah. Lost the appetite for battle. 
If you're sure. Okay. And we lost the fort for that. Then we should push too. Thank you. I have good meat. Okay. Careful. Uh, you may run into Varian. Yeah. I'll go the safe way. Be careful, Tom. Yeah. I think they're coming. Yeah. Maybe I'll catch. Yeah. Freeze! Don't move! Suljin might be there. He didn't show up top. Oh yeah. Suljin is here. It's fine. Yes. Maybe we can get him. Everyone's coming. Everyone's counting on me. Size for. We use. You should put a blizzard further. Help top, help top. No. Healed up. If you're sure. I should put my blizzard further. Yeah. You're right. Further in front of the gate. You're right. Reckoning has come. Oh, that was close. Oh, wow. Who cares? Hanzo keep hitting them in the face. <laughs> nice. Oh wow. Amazing arrow. So Hanzo basically responsible for a lot of murder. Getting, 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 getting. Why, yeah. Zuljin already in position. He's like, all right, stacking time. Back, you could get engaged. Wow, oh, Phoenix, really? See ya. Am I cooked up? Continue to push me. Yeah. Do it. No. Despite I mean, talents, because we have I need no. To get some mana. Yeah, mana, heroics. Okay. How about some mercenaries? Here goes nothing. Um, risk. Help top. Um. No, I can't. Yeah, no Z. No. Okay. It's fine. So it's, it's a very okay. difficult uh, lane for Yorel into Imperius, but thanks to Brightwing, we've been able to keep him alive a bit. I'm getting strange readings. Power 
gathers within the shrines. Seize them and become the new dragon knight. Fascinating. Okay, I need some healing. Oh, that works. Okay, uh, thank you. Take this. Huh? What? If you say so. It's been done before. Yeah, someone was doing it. My Here's my build, guys. Remind it's probably the weakest May build, but I love it. I think it's very strong. If you're sure, do we want to? Okay. Seems so. Wow. Oh. I'm scared. Yeah. Oh. They're engaging fast. It's not good. Behold Rath's arsenal. So. I will never bow to you. I think that's a go next. Go next objective. So the invade was actually like the invade bait by enemy team was so smart because I felt compelled to go around and help and then they split us two three. You went to help Hanto, yes? Mm. Yeah. And he had to jump away from Bruiser because I just had a bad feeling because I felt a little bit scared before the fight. Yeah. Premonition. Oh my god. Yes, something is gonna go wrong. Can you explain why you like to build over E? Uh, I'll do that after the game, but yes, I can definitely explain with like 350 words. I have seen enough for now. Oh, what's over there? There you are. You're holding back. Another event going wrong. Yep. Grand. Yep. We had no arrow too. Suljin is still not stacked though. There's a lot of six giants coming yes. our way. Yes. Nice. Let's see what you find. Nice. Your heal prop. No! Oh. Your rail made me miss blind, it was scary. Can, can we end or, or get keep at least? And E keep? Uh, your rail yeah, yeah. decay. I can heal you. There too. must always be a dragon knight, but will it be you? Sit here. Sit Thank you. Fuck. I see. 
GG, well played. Sick uh, place, guys, this game. I think our allies were good too. Yeah. Hanzo's damage wasn't that high, but the damage he dealt led to kills very consistently. In the bot lane, I didn't see it, but you remarked on it. And then the arrows were all pretty monster. And Yurel managed to, with your help, uh, stay alive. Just two deaths against uh, Imperius solo lane, which <laughs> is very tough. Oh, Imperius is on my team. Now I get the joke. Took about 15 minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, well, let me queue up first. I screenshot this and then we can talk about it in paint. Uh, I want to queue up first and then explain the build because it doesn't seem to make sense. The highest win rate is icing. The pros go icing. I go snowballed blizzard. Why? Well, uh, so... Uh, what I what I like about this build, it it is extremely multi-dimensional. Probably like four or five dimensions. Uh, with the May can actually do so many different talent builds, and it's fine. Just because her base kit is good, everything slows, heals, and so on. So with May, you can spec into self heal, attack speed, slows, and blinds. Those are roughly her kit. So when you go for self-heal your healing damage you've taken but when you go for blind you're re preventing damage that you or allies would take that's what i like about it heat transfer allows you to deal more damage right and you heal from it it then has synergy at 13 where you are constantly slowing blah 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 at 16 there's acclimation where you are gaining maybe some armor some bonus heal but it's all about you 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 you're dealing more damage you're healing more there's a few reasons why i don't like that if i don't get focused i can't heal if i use heat transfer for bonus damage i tend to tunnel vision that's a me problem may not be for everyone I tend to tunnel vision a little bit more. Look, my damage is critting. I'm dealing 130 damage instead of 97 with every auto attack. Yay, let's keep focusing this target. And that's not how I want to play tank. Snowblind is quite multidimensional. This one means people are slowed for a lot and you're getting it back more often because of Blizzard. This one, you can shut down buildings. Your little mini Cindergoza slash Savannah's Black Arrow. That's nice, shut down buildings, and it deals more damage. But you're using it significantly, not for the damage, but to blind Imperius, so he doesn't get his trade value. And I'm searching, by the way, if snipers are wondering. This is just a screenshot, it's like magic. Don't be shy to snipe. Um, oh, there we go, paint, embarrassing. Still use paint, kek W. So uh, you shut down buildings, deals more damage, but you're using it to block Imperius' self-healing, Orpheus' self-healing, Suljin's auto attacks, and so on. So now I'm like extremely focused on enabling my team and preventing damage to other people, not healing my own damage. Then this one, it offers 40% damage reduction for enemies caught inside of it, right? And if they're stunned by it, then that persists for several seconds after. Now I'm blinding people and I'm reducing their auto and spell power. So they're getting less healing, they're de dealing less damage with magic, and they're dealing less with physical, which is amazing. 13, I get attack speed, don't really care about it. But I do get my blizzard back much faster. And blizzard is the condition to get your snow blind back faster. So I can have four to 10 snow blinds in a, in a short fight, which is amazing. Everyone's getting blinded. Here I get a second charge, bonus range. Thank you very much, bad name, Bob. Here I'm getting uh, a second charge and 33% bonus range, which it's actually really impactful. It's a difference between sometimes being able to hit a snow blind or not. And then here at 20, bonus damage. It's pretty nice, every 15 seconds. Now, why do I not go for the other builds and what can the other build do? At level four, the other build gives you an icing that when it passes through the blizzard, you get mana back and CDR. If you're not upgrading your icing otherwise, 
all you're really doing is allowing yourself to we combo pass through your own blizzard with skating and then have your e back up again quicker that's what that is for right you get back 99 percent of your mana and you get back your icing eight seconds faster that is very significant and useful when you're constantly doing we engages I stopped doing WE engages because in Storm League I have a lot of backline enemies, uh, backline allies. And if I WE in, I might be the next kill target, even if I get my icing back in five seconds. That's too late. Plus, I'm not peeling for my allies now. I'm trying to do a setup for my allies, but I'm not protecting them from damage. Right? So I don't like that E as much for that reason. And then at level seven, that icing talent is sick good. It offers 50% armor against physical attacks to all allies that you end up near after you icing. You also give 20% movement speed to yourself and all your allies. That is a very powerful talent. Reducing physical damage to your allies is very powerful, but reducing enemy damage by 40% is as well and you're slowing them instead of speeding up your allies. What I like most of all about this build, besides everything I said, and also the fact that it makes me play Mei better, more defensively and CCing everyone all the time, the reason I like uh, this build is because I can use every single ability of Mei independently from one another. None need to be comboed. I don't need to do W into E to get some kind of effect. If I want to cast a Snowblind, I cast it. If I want to do a Blizzard, I cast it. If I want to do an E to get away, to reposition, to slow someone, to disrupt someone's combo, I will. And not because I'm doing a WE. That's actually the thing I like the least about Dynamite builds on Hager. You're doing a lot of WQ combos to create the triple Dynamite. And now you don't have your Q for stunning people into walls. So this is the uncombo build. The only combo there is here is because Q1 gives you more snow blinds when you hit enemy heroes with Blizzard. The only combo I can think about is when I Q an opponent, I want to do that first, then Blizzard, so that I can benefit from the cooldown reduction that Blizzard offers my snow blind. If I do Blizzard first, I'm missing out CDR on my Q. But that's really the only combo that I need. Uh, and and I can, like, if, if it's correct to Blizzard first, I will. But usually it's Snowblind to slow someone so that you can do WE them better. So I think this is such a nice build and it's right for me. And at first I started picking it only because I was up against auto attackers. But now I like it all the time. And great talent synergy. Uh, symmetry. I remember the good old days when Grubby hated on May Q and Hager W build. <laughs> yeah, me too. So the icing build with icing at 4, 7 and 16. Most pros will play that. Bonus damage, bonus slow, strong engage, physical armor, movement speed. It's all very sought after. But I think this is better for Storm League when I'm playing. The other build is way harder to play well. I think that's true as well. It's harder to play well, that one. 